Dan here, the creator of ModMap. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the product. So when we navigate to mudmap.io, you will be presented with the main landing page. We have a registration and login. Today we're going to log in, so I've already registered. If you're already logged in, it'll give you a button to navigate to the dashboard. If you've already added devices like I have here, you'll see that you have an active devices table. We have where it will give you the name, IP, SSH port, the graphical user interface port, the version number, and some other handy things here. Viewing device, which we'll go into in a sec, will give you the complete overview of the device that's connected. If there's a change here you can update or you can simply delete it. Hitting the view device button will take us to it. At the moment, it's making SSH connections to your device and pulling data directly from it. Just like when you log into PFSense, uh, through your, your graphical user interface, you're presented with a similar thing in MudMap. We have a system, our interfaces, a firewall, services, VPN, status, and diagnostics navigation ban banner at the top, as well as the name of the device and the host address. Here we have the system overview. This is, it gives you a quick snapshot into the device itself, including system information, interfaces, and gateways, as well as the system services where you can stop, start, and restart some of those services from here, just by clicking one of these buttons. At the moment, we have many things that are on, that are coming soon, and they're all, navig they're all annotated with a tooltip, as you can see here. Right now, we provide firewall and alias support, where you can create, update, and delete firewall rules. And again, it's taken it from the device. You can see this demonstration one, there's not much to see here. We only have the two interfaces up. Likewise, on the aliases, we're limited in what we have here, but you can see that there's been some things created by MudMap. Again, we can add, um, update, and delete these aliases directly from them. We also support diagnostics. So we, can, we have a command prompt, just as you do in PFSense normally, but you can execute shell command. You can also shut down and reboot the device. We can view all of our devices in the devices all. We have inactive and active. These inactive connections mean that they have yet to make the, the connection between our servers and your firewall. We can activate them by clicking the activate button. The active devices we've already seen, but we can update these and delete them as if needed. To register a new device, simply follow this add device form field where we add the name, the host address, and the port information. Once you hit save, we dropped over into the inactive connection. It's important to note that nothing inactive or no inactive connections are charged in your account at this point. You can add as many as you need. Importantly, MudMap only supports PFSense community version for the time being and device versions 2.5 and 2.6. And that's the quick overview of MudMap. Thanks for watching.